You know, really a, an outstanding win on Saturday night, and it was just great to just see how the team just came out and competed. You know, didn't worry, worry about the weather or anything else. They just wanted to make sure that we got they got a great performance in. You look at us on offense, we take the ball, you know, we go score, then we take it in and go score. I think we may miss the field goal, then we go field goal, field goal. And on defense, we just came out and just made them punt the ball, but we just played very physical. And we knew we had to make it a physical game. And that's what we've been doing the last few weeks. And, you know, I talk about it all the time. I talk about us, our offensive line, trying to squeeze every ounce out of it. And it just continues to get better and better. You know, someone asked me, said, what, what did you see to change? And it's all about trust and it's all about confidence now. On defense, playing with a lot of confidence, guys feel like they can go out and go stop people. And then offensively, you just start gaining the trust. And in the beginning, you didn't see that because the running backs wasn't running as hard as they could run. They didn't trust the offensive line. They didn't have the new quarterback, didn't know if he could really make the throws. And then our receiving crew has really came on with John Harris. I think he may be 24 yards away from 1,000 yards. And, and you just think about just how far he'd come. I think up until that point, uh, what he only had 90, 190 yards in his whole career here, and two of them were Hail Mary passes. So I told him it just counts off 100 yards, so you only had 90. But uh, just to see him just go out and compete, and then Shipley, Mr. Reliable, and then you look at the catch that Marcus made, and then you watch us throw young, a ball to a young freshman, uh, Armani Foreman. But it's just great to just see this team continue to get better. And that's, we know this. We got a big one coming up here on Thanksgiving Day, and uh, we're going to have to play really well to beat that team because it's a really an outstanding football team, but just very pleased on how we played this past week. Is there any chance you would be interested in possibly being, you know, going back to Florida as head coach? I have a great job here, Chip, and I, and I say this, you know, we, we have a lot of work to get done here. I'm not very pleased with just where we are right now, and then I look at our record and know we could have been a lot better, and it's, it's still a lot of work to get done here. Now that you're bowl eligible, a lot of people would like to see Texas versus Texas A&M. What, what are your thoughts on that? Would that be fun for you guys as well? You know, Ryan, I'm just worrying about, you know, we got to get ready for TCU and whoever we play in the bowl game and be happy, but, you know, it, it just, it's just all about TCU right now. Did you ever have a sliver of doubt in yourself and you got that off more than you more than you could chew? No, I never thought I had more than I could chew. I mean, because you're dealing with young people. It doesn't matter how big the program is. You, when you're dealing with young people and you get young people to trust in you and, and they believe that, uh, you know, that what the mission is. It, but it's all about that. you got to get to them to trust and believe in you. And then I think that when that happens, then your program takes off it and gets the word need to get to. What, was there a low moment for you this season when you, when you thought that maybe it wasn't going to happen, maybe the bolt wasn't going to come? No, you know, I did, you know, I sat there and we was at two and four and three and five and, and you look at the schedule and, and I said, you know what, we're, we're just too talented. I told our coaching staff, we're not coaching hard enough. And I said, it's got to be a reason why we're not having success. It was all about us getting connected with the seniors because that's the group of guys that you have to get connected with. And I said, you have some seniors that are playing well, we have some that are not, but we got to get them all to start playing well and to buy into it.